uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to um, deposit money into your bedway account so you can start playing bets and start multiplying that money into something more than what you've put in so there are various methods of how you can deposit money into your bedway account you can either like take money from your bank account into the bedway account or you can use physical cash by buying vouchers and then punching in those vouchers so let's start and then i'll show you how it all works so as you can see i have three run 57 in my account right now so this is the whole point of the video how do you uh increase this balance how do you like put money in your account so the money that you would put in would show here under cash this is the money that you can use to play bets and all of that so to do this you go to the menu at the top here and then you see the various menu options so you go to deposit funds because you want to deposit money into the account like you would deposit money to a friend or someone so you go to deposit funds and then uh it will open this page as you can see here it says method on the on this column so these are the various methods that you can use to deposit money into your account so there are many ways to do it but i'll show you just three of them because those are the ones i find they will suit almost everyone so the first one which i think is more convenient because the money reflects immediately so as soon as you're done going through the steps the money reflects immediately so let's say there's a live game playing which you feel like you can quickly go in and make some money this is the option you'd want to use because you can go in during the game deposit money and play right there at the moment and like multiply your money by three or by four so this is the most convenient option the ozo option number two so what you do is you click where it says deposit here and then it will give you these uh preset selections you don't have to stick to those ones you can still type in the amount that you want but i know the minimum that you can deposit is 50 bucks so it will always have to be something above 50 so you can type uh, let me delete that you can type 50 and then that will be what you want to put in so to use this method you'd have to have a banking app in your phone so if you bank with capitec you would go the capitec option if you bank with netbank and you have the netbank app in your phone so it's like this thing takes you to your bank app where you can now allow this transaction to happen so you'll be operating from here and it will be sending notifications to your bank app where that your bank app will ask you do you approve this transaction yes no so it's like you're making a payment through your banking app basically but it's pulled through via betway it's not something that you log into your bank app and then you automatically do so you'll be doing it through here but your bank app will be giving you notifications that there's a payment coming in do you wanna uh, approve it or not so otherwise if you do an eft payment like a normal eft payment that's where you have to wait a couple of hours because they have to process your uh your payment betway has to go trace your payment and see that in, indeed it came through and then they they will credit your account after that payment has been verified so they would need you to send in like a proof of payment so you know like when you do payment on the app you can choose to send proof to an email address or to a cell phone number so you just have to give that way um that proof as you're doing the payment on your phone so that's the eft method the normal eft how you just pay for anything from your uh banking app to any other person that you want to pay so that's method number two eft the first one is the ozo one which is almost like an eft but the payment uh reflects immediately the EFT, it does not reflect immediately. And it's very frustrating because it will frustrate you that you can see the game starts in two hours, but you haven't credited your account. So if you want to have the money and account like immediately, then the EFT way is not the best way to do it because it will frustrate you. 
you'll keep calling Bitway that yo I deposited money but my the account the money's not reflecting. So it's better to use Ozo. And then the EFT you can use it if you know that you won't need to play bets that day. And then you can do it today, and then you know tomorrow for sure Bitway would have traced your money and credited you. You know. So I've shown you two methods now. So okay, just to show you the <coughs> EFT method is here. See, from this option going down, those are like EFTs up to other banks. So this is where you do an EFT. So deposit, and then it just tells you signing into your banking app. Pay beneficiary. So how you would normally pay like any other person money. And the last method I want to show you is the shop right one. This one, I think this one would work for students, people who don't have like banking apps. So you'd use this shop right option. So with this option, you go to shop right or check us. And then you see it says step one, you visit your nearest checkers. Step two, you give the teller your Bitway account. The agent will confirm the account by asking, then you pay. So you either go to ShopRite or Checkers and then you do the, the payment there and then they like they credit your account. So those are the ways in which you can put money into your account, you know? And yeah, like it's very easy and straightforward. So like you just do it because if you want to make money, this is the first step. You have to get money into your account first. So you must just be brave to like risk that 50 rand because you never know what it can multiply into.